Hey guys, Courtney Epps here for another episode of What's Your Plan B and Why You Would Be Brain Dead Not to Own a Home-Based Business. So I'm super excited to have Michelle here with me today. Welcome, Michelle. Happy Monday. Hey, happy Monday. How are you? I'm doing amazing. So if you would just share with the audience, just let them know kind of, you know, what you did prior in the, in the real world. If you actually were, if you're still, you know, a W-2 employee, what you're doing um, kind of your like your background, but then also why you got involved, kind of your story of of going into the network marketing space and why you saw it as an amazing opportunity. Absolutely. So thank you again, Courtney, this afternoon for having me on. First of all, you know, definitely excited about sharing my story with everybody. Um, I was a social worker for 16 years, um, always had a huge heart for serving people, you know, just working with the underdogs. And life just kind of had its way. Um, I actually ended up uh, getting married, moved from Charlotte to Atlanta, experienced eight months of unemployment. And so at this point, this is probably like the third time I've been out of work and um, started looking at like ways that I could actually, uh, you know, be become an employer. I mean, uh, you know, get away from, uh, you know, being an employee and started a t-shirt company and uh, that folded. And uh, just God set it up. My husband lost his job as a corporate banking manager and found this amazing network marketing company we're with and brought it home. Hey, babe, I found something we can do on the side. And I'm like, I'm not interested. I just totally wasn't interested at all. Um, he had been in several network marketing companies. And I'll tell you, Courtney, uh, just, you know, seeing his bigger, seeing the, the products and services, I was like, okay, uh, a month went by and I said, sign me up. And so I got started um, I've been loving it. It's been three years now. April 21st of 2017 uh, marked my uh, my third year, going into four years now as a network marketing professional. That's awesome. So you do this full time. There's nothing else that you do? No, actually about 11 months of me being in the industry, I was able to walk away from my nine to five. So, um, you know, it was hard to leave the kids behind, you know, but at the same time, I found a freedom here, uh, a new passion. It's like, this isn't social work, but it's still I'm helping so many people. So it just really feels the same when it comes to like the intrinsic value. So but it's been two and a half years. No, no more nine to five. <laughs> I love it. And your husband, does he work? No, we're both full time. So um, our, our company took us out of uh, the the day to day uh, rat race. And so we both have been doing this full time uh, for about two and a half years now. That's awesome. And, you know, the thing people just don't understand how uh, beneficial it is to be a home based business owner. One, you're able to spend time with your family. You're able to stay at home, which is really cool. Or you could travel around the world if that's what you wanted to do, you know. Um, but the the other aspect of it is is it's not about how much money you make. It's Correct. about how much money you keep at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And so for a business owner, you're much, much better off to be a business owner than you are a W2 employee. And the reason why is because of taxes. So 40% yeah. of every dollar that a W2 employee makes minimum is going to pay some sort of taxes. And it's typically on upwards of 50%. The more money you make, it's just crazy. And so what people don't understand is that, W2, there's actually two tax systems in our country. There's mm -hmm. one that was created for W2 employees and that <laughs> system was literally created to steal wealth away. Mm -hmm. And then there's a system that was created for business owners. And that system was created to provide wealth is to mm -hmm. help you make more money. And the reason why is because we are generating economy every day. We're, we're selling every single day. We are spending money back in our business in order to grow our business every right. day. And then on top of that, the hope is that one day we'll hire employees right. and that we, those employees will then pay taxes. And that's the way it works. That's the way the whole the whole system works. And mm -hmm. the only thing you need to understand is you need to be in the system that was created to provide wealth for you. Right. So so tell me, um, do you have kids? I do. I actually have a four year old who uh, knows our business inside out. And I have a 16 year old stepdaughter who's in Hawaii. But yeah, I do have kids. And so uh, just being able to, like you said earlier, have that freedom of time. Um, when I got started in this, my daughter was about 15, 15 months old and uh, we were in a bad place. And just looking at her and I, I, you know, Courtney, I'll tell you, I was like, this can't be my legacy. Like we can't struggle like this. And so um, she's been able to see how. Uh, this business has just added so much value to our life and other people. And her little catchphrase, uh, 
is uh, leave a legacy for your kids. You always hear me say that. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. yeah. I was just, you know, and I talk about that every day now, that leaving that, that legacy, leaving that legacy is so crucial. And the thing is, is that we are not in any way, and please understand this, knocking WG employees. What we're saying is, is that there is a better way. And that, and the reason why there's a better way is one, because you have the ability to kind of control what you're doing. You have the ability to, to be able to spend more time with your kids. If you want to take the day off, yeah, no, you might not make any money today, but you can still take the day off and spend time with your, with your children. But the other aspect of it is not only keeping more money, but then you're able to develop and create a residual stream of income that one day you could give that off to your children. You could take care of them. And that's one of the things that I'm doing with my accounting practice. Like I don't see it as residual income, but here's the thing. Like I've created a book that's residual income. That's bringing in money for every month for me. I've created a membership that is using me speaking. I spoke one time on video content and every, you know, once a week I speak for an hour, obviously, and that is continuing to grow over and over and over. And so that is truly residual income. And the, the thing is, is that you don't have to make it hard. And that's what I love about the network marketing space is that you can actually make it a lot easier on yourself if you utilize the network marketing space in order to grow a business because you don't have to do all the marketing. It's already done for you. The um, the websites are done, the products, the services, like all you have to do is go out and just run your mouth and tell people about it. So, um, you know, I love, I love the network marketing space for that simple reason alone. I'm tickled because <laughs> you're like, all you have to do is go run your mouth, but that, that is it. I mean, people think that it's hard, but it's just about networking, connecting with people, you know, being passionate about what you offer. But, you know, you know, to your point, Courtney, about that residual is so many of us just miss that. We're taught to be linear income earners. We exchange time for dollar every single day, but we don't understand if we leverage other people's time, their talents, their networks, we now can tap into this magic of residual, you know, where we can actually flow money in. So if for some reason I'm out sick or whatever, I don't have to take off and I don't have to worry about is there going to still be a check coming because I built it over time, you know, compounding over time. And now there's that residual. But people miss that. You know, I absolutely love, you know, your book. Um, I had the opportunity to get your book about, I guess, two and a half years ago at a training. I share that with my team all the time because, uh, you know, when we're out talking to people about working from home, it's not just for comfort. I mean, like you said, we have a huge, huge missed opportunity when it comes to our taxes because people don't understand that there are two systems. This gives you the platform that you could, you know, get those tax write-offs, but it gives you the flexibility that even if you have a nine to five, you can still be building this business and still writing off money, still saving. So I'm telling you, I I love it. I mean, if I could just run my mouth or post a post or invite somebody to a Zoom, how simple is that to be able to share information with other people? And then you can build a living from that. It's amazing. Yeah. And I tell people all the time, I'm like, you know, if you think that network marketing is tough, like you need to come to my accounting practice and you need to just work for at least a couple of weeks and I'll, we'll teach you everything we know. And you can then go back to network marketing because it, it's not, it, you know, so many people see it as hard. And I get that there's definitely fears out there of sharing something with people. But guys, when you're sharing something with someone that could completely and utterly impact their entire yes. life, yes. you're selfish for not doing it. Yes. And that's yes. kind of the way I feel about it. It's like I, I share my information not because somebody to get somebody to pay me to share it. It's because I feel obligated that I have yeah. to teach people the information that's in my head because yeah. you're not going to learn it any other way, right? That's right. And it's almost like if we're just seeding, you know, God gives seed to the sower. So it's like, if I have something in my hand that could grow in your, in your backyard, why would I not share it with you or, or share with the lady down the street or the gentleman across the street? It's, it's just information sharing. I mean, it would, like you said, it would be so selfish of us not to share it, but it is the fear. It's the apprehension. You know, it's the, my grandparents were in a company or, you know, just the unfamiliarity, I think keeps so many people from being a network marketing professional. And I'll tell you, even myself, like when I first got exposed to this by my husband, I like, 
literally for the first 30 days, I was like, nope, not interested. I was just I, negative Nancy about everything. And then he went home, uh, went to a training and came back with all this information. And I'm like, oh my God, like I really saw how beneficial this information was for the community. And I'm like, as a social worker, as a minister, it just made sense for me to at least try it. At that point, I'm like, what else do I have to lose? Like I'm barely living check to check right here with all these degrees and all this education, but I'm not making ends meet. So what do I have to lose? And I'm gonna tell you, it was one of the best one of the best business decisions we've ever made. We've been able to just influence change in so many people's lives. And that, that what it makes this work so rewarding. I, so love rewarding. I love it. And you know, and that's the thing, like Michelle, people just, they don't know. They don't know what they don't know. Right. And what you don't know is costing you significantly. Mm -hmm. So I'm not telling you to quit your job today. What I'm saying is, is that you have to find a way to find something that you're passionate about. I don't care if that's a product. I don't care if that's a service, you know, and you find something that you can talk about. You can have a conversation with someone about that's super easy. Like it's fluid. Like if you like travel or you like jewelry, you like makeup or you like pocketbooks or whatever, just find something that you could then share with other people. And just a sheer attempt of you sharing that information with them is attempting to earn an income. And what that does is most people don't comprehend it, but most what happens is now you can redirect your living expenses that you already have, things you're already spending money on. I'm not telling you to spend hundreds of extra dollars that you don't have. What I'm saying is, is that take the things that you're already spending money on, your meals, your mileage, your cell phone, internet, business use of your home, your travel, Hiring your kids, you can actually pay your kids. So I know you're giving your kids money, right? You can pay them to do things for you. And now that becomes a tax deduction for you. So it's not spending extra money. Then we've got things like cost of goods sold. Well, for a W2 employee, that would be a product. So why in the world, if I love a product and I use it every single day, what, why wouldn't I join that company right. and be a rep in that company so that I could then advertise for that company and tell people about it? It's so funny to me when you add money to it, that people are crazy. Like they go crazy. Like how in the world, like I shouldn't be telling people about this product because now I make money off of it. No, that should be the exact opposite of what you think. Because here's the thing. People need money to live. People to need live. money to give. People need money mm -hmm. to be able to retire one day. And money buys back time. That's what I see money as money buys back time and money allows you the, the ability to make choices. Yes. And if you want choices, better choices in life, you're going to have to make more money. Right. And it doesn't start with you working more hours at your job. It starts with you finding something you're passionate about, something that you can share with other people, telling them about it. Then now here's what happens is a double whammy. So the reason why, and I, maybe you don't know this, Michelle, but two years ago, mm -hmm. I heard some statistics, August 2018. Um, I was on my way to Tampa, Florida. And crazily, crazy enough, I was actually had made a decision that I was going to sign back up in network marketing. <laughs> and I didn't do it. I didn't do that. And here's why. And I was driving along and I heard these statistics by Grant Cardone. And it said that the average household income in America was $60,000 a year and that they will pay $14,000 in taxes. And the take home is 46,000 a year. And what's left over, the problem is, is we have a cost of living. Right. We have, it costs us money to live every day. And so the cost of living in America is $53,000 a year on average. And when you take that number, 46 minus 53, minus you're left over with nothing. You're going in debt $7,000 a year to work, 40 hours a week, 50 weeks a year to take two weeks paid vacation. And that one thing shifted my entire career. I went from being a fractional CFO for a handful of companies to shifting back over into doing tax strategy and teaching people that just by having a home-based business, they guaranteed that they could save between four and $7,000 a year in taxes. And see, had I not been in network marketing years ago, I would not have done the 900 tax returns that I did for people wow. and said, here's where you were. 
And here's where you are now because you have a home based business. So it doesn't matter necessarily that you make a lot of money. It, I mean, you don't even have to make any money. You just need to attempt to make money. And the sheer attempt now allows you to write off the things that you're already spending money on today. And that was such a wide opening view for me that it had it'd been over a year since I'd been involved in network marketing. I was focused on my accounting practice. And me and my husband had made the decision that once I hit 10 grand a month in my accounting practice, that I could start mm -hmm. focusing on doing something else that I love because I, I love network marketing. And when I heard those statistics, I said, you know, I can't be in the network marketing industry. I have to speak for the network marketing industry. Mm. And so I have to stay outside of it so I can help people understand that they need to be in it. In it. That's, that's, good. Exactly, that's exactly what I committed to doing two years ago. And it changed everything. It skyrocketed our business. Our, you know, I've written two books now. I'm an international speaker and I'm an advocate, a complete advocate for the network marketing industry. And I don't get paid to do any of these interviews, guys. So if you're listening out there <laughs> and you think, well, Courtney's getting something on the back end. <laughs> no, Courtney's not. Courtney is sharing this information because I know it's life changing. Right. And some of you out there are going to say, hey, Courtney, I need you to be my accountant. And then that's where I'm going to get you. That's where I'm going to help you save more money. I'm going to help you have a better life. I'm going to help you live more. I'm going to help you give more. And so that's that's like the catch, right? The catch is at the end of the day is to help people help up money, right? Mm -hmm. We're freeing up money so that they can live a better life so that they can have more. And then from there, we keep them in to, in their company long enough to win because I know without a shadow of a doubt what what just being involved in the network marketing space did for me. I mean, I, I was making nine thousand dollars a year in 2013. Wow. The year before network marketing. Wow. And we just hit a two million dollar company. Look at God. Come on. <laughs> Is that not great? Woo! But it was just from the relationships that I built and the personal growth and development wow. that I have. And I got around the right people. See, it, it doesn't matter what industry that you're in. I took the skills and the information that I learned from the network marketing industry and it skyrocketed in my accounting practice. And so when you understand that, it's like you might want to be in a network marketing company to grow your business. Courtney, that's good. Right? <laughs> Or you might join it because you want to be around amazing people and make connections that you yes. would never make in the normal outside right. world. Because people like me, I'm an accountant. I, there's not an accountant convention that I can go to and hang out with other accountants and then tell me how to get to where they've gotten. It doesn't happen. So I'm going to shut up, Michelle, and let you, <laughs> let you there. Tell, me, tell me what you love the best about the network marketing space. Well, I'm going to tell you outside of helping people, which that's the obvious, um, is the personal development. And you just shared it. It's being around people who are like mine, who are willing to grow you and show you the way. Um, you know, I've learned so much about entrepreneurship, period, just by being in, in network marketing. And um, I'm going to tell you, it's not only can I learn it and, you know, I, I be passionate about what I do, because I, I tell people all the time, if you can be passionate about your product, you can learn to prosper. You know, it's the developing that passion, but but we work on mindset. We show you strategies and techniques and things like that so that you can really be a business owner. And I'll tell you, even, you know, my encounter with you was through network marketing because I had a leader who said, you know what, we're not just in a company, we're business owners. We want to make sure you guys have the tools and equipment to go out here and, and, you know, build your empires. And so even that exposure to you and, you know, following you and reading your book and, you know, I'm telling you, lever leveraging your services, it's what I love about this is that you get so much knowledge so much knowledge. There's not a shortage of information. There's no vying for a, a top spot. I know as a social worker, you know, already that's an underpaid industry anyway, just like teachers and any service profession, right? But there's no top spot that I'm trying to wait for somebody to retire out of. I don't have to, you know, buy for that position and, you know, be mad because such and such didn't take retirement this year. I can literally go out and if I put in the work, I could be equally as uh, a, a highly paid as a top leader in our company. That's what I love. I mean, I could talk all day about what I love. <laughs> There's so many things I love, but but it's an eye opener. And that the fact yeah. that anybody with no experience, this is another thing I love, anybody with no experience whatsoever 
in the industry of network marketing can come in and have success if they would learn to put the work in and follow a system. I mean, it's just that simple. Yes. And they got to be uh, coachable. Coachable. Absolutely. Coachable. Yes. And a pleasure. And yes. And duplicatable. You got to exactly. You got to be duplicatable. Yes. All yeah. of that. <laughs> and, and that's the thing. Like it, it is so much harder you know, I so I had a brick and mortar and a store at I, I, actually an insurance agency and an accounting firm uh -huh. at thirty five hundred clients by the time I was twenty nine years old. Uh -huh. And I put that up for sale and sold it. And the guy stopped paying me and I lost everything. Uh -huh. I was a quarter of a million dollars in debt and uh, I couldn't even afford to file bankruptcy. I actually filed bankruptcy and the U.S. trustee forced me to withdraw my bankruptcy uh -huh. because they said I couldn't afford the payment. <laughs> wow. Wow. Did you know that you could do that? Wow. Like I did not until you get, that you get denied a bankruptcy. Yeah, yeah. So, so what's crazy is like our connection with our story is that I started a fundraising company and I started creating vinyl signs and banners and I did screen printing hmm. and we got to a point where it was like we were making money, but we were not bringing home enough money to cover the bills. And, you know, when you don't realize like some of that stuff is very expensive. So we actually signed a contract with Walgreens and we were actually losing money. Wow. We were losing money every shirt that we printed and didn't even realize it because our profit margin, what we thought our printing cost was, was actually much higher. It was about three times higher than what we were told it was going to be. So, uh oh, you're muted, Courtney. So you, my biggest thing is like you can be in business and you can work really, really hard mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can fail. And the thing is, is that when you have a brick and mortar business, you can fail really hard and go further in debt because you can you have the ability to borrow money and you borrow money against things that you may or may not have. And then at the end of the day, you're like me and a quarter of a million dollars in debt. And I put in the effort. And so what I do see and what I love is that network marketing is a place to help you get to where you want to go, whatever that is, whether it's an extra hundred dollars a month, five hundred dollars a month, whether you want to buy the product, get the product for free, you want to, you know, have a place to hang out with people and spend time with with better like minded individuals who are in a, on a pace to actually go somewhere in life. Or if you want to be a million dollar income earner mm -hmm. and anything in between, I think that that's, that's what the sky's the limit. It is, and right. when you're dealing with trying to build a company on your own, you know, you typically got to, you got to go all in and you're going to fail a couple of times before you actually succeed. And I think that's the one thing that people don't understand in the network marketing space. Like they come in and they think, well, gosh, I see Michelle, and Michelle's killing it. I should be able to do the same thing. And they don't realize that they don't have the skills yet. They don't have the mm -hmm. tools. They don't have the information mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. And so they get knocked down by the first person who says, no, that's no. a scam, right? <laughs> or this, yeah. And so for me, it's all about not only bringing people here to let them see that this is a viable, amazing opportunity turnkey. It's almost like a franchise that you don't have to pay tens of thousands or millions of dollars to. Right. And, but and if, you, and if you fail, you've only lost a couple hundred bucks, but you can't fail because the thing is you just can quit. Like you can't fail. You just quit. And so when you understand that, it's like, okay, well, if I quit, then I'm a failure. But here's the thing. You can start right back. It's yep. pretty simple. Like, Start back on your auto ship. Right. Right again, right? <laughs> yeah. Let me do yeah. the thing again. So what would you um, share? And I, I typically don't go this long and talk, um, but I just, I feel like people need the, need this information from somebody who's not necessarily in network marketing space. I've just been there. Mm -hmm. I had brick and mortar. I lost it. I got in network marketing. I got out of it. I had some personal issues and I was in a, a I was actually in a nutrition company and I had was living in mold and I thought the product stopped working. So I felt like I couldn't sell it anymore. Right. It wow. wasn't the products. It was actually the mold. And wow. so by that point, it's like, okay, I really need to build my accounting practice. And I was able to get out of my issues that I had with becoming a professional and now step into, okay, 
like we need to make this accounting practice work. We need to get super serious about that. And I did that three years ago and that was my commitment. So what would you tell someone, whether it's somebody who just got started in network marketing or whether it's someone who hasn't been as successful as they want to be, what would you share with them today? Because I know you're successful in network marketing. Um, what would you tell them today? So I would say first get very, very clear on where you want to go and why, you know, so in network marketing, you always hear people talk about the why. Uh, but but if you don't have a target, you're going to keep missing it over and over and you're going to try this and you're going to try that. But you got to just figure out why am I doing this thing? And then when you zero in on that. And for me, it was to create an opportunity like I grew up in the projects, you know, just in, just very impoverished. Um, but it was to create an opportunity for my daughter not to struggle like I did. It was for me to be able to help other people, you know, who were facing the same challenges that led me into network marketing. It was, you know, to be able to show people that there's another way. And just like you, Courtney, um, I actually my first shot in entrepreneurship, I started a T-shirt company and everything burned to the ground. I lost all my money. And and that was like in 2016, leading right into me getting into this. And I found this to be a lot simpler, a lot easier um, that I could just leverage a system. So what I would say to anybody is get very crystal clear on where you want to go. You know, a lot of times doors open right in front of us and it just, it, you know, we have in our mind what what the opportunity is going to look like. Oh, I want to one day be a millionaire. And we think in our mind it's going to be this, that and the other. I thought I was going to be writing policy at a federal level for social services. But, you know, God has a way of opening a door right in front of you. And if you're not careful to recognize it, you know, if your vision is not clear, your discernment is not clear, you'll miss it because I almost missed this opportunity. And I know my life has changed, my husband, my team, just the, the clients, the people that we serve. But be so clear on where you're going that when it pops up in front of you, you don't miss it. You know, um, there's a saying that um, opportunities won't come back to the same person twice. Like if you miss it, it may just go to the next person. And so, you know, you heard Courtney talk about how you could put so much of your hard earned dollars back to work just on a part time basis by starting a network marketing company. It don't have to be what I do. It doesn't have to be the same industry she did. Find something that you could be passionate about. Zero in on it. Be very clear on where you want to go and just follow the guide of your leadership. The biggest success hack that I've had, Courtney, is mentorship. It's yeah, being yeah. around amazing people who have gone the way, but they were willing to show me the way. That is the biggest success hack I've had. I love it. And, 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 and you don't get that in the real world. <laughs> you don't get that outside of network marketing unless you pay a lot of money for it. Um, we just actually, and I'll just, I'll share this with you. I'm a platinum partner with Tony Robbins. Um, that, that is the closest thing to a mentorship that I would have received in the network marketing space. And that's 85 grand a year. And then I just hired Jay Abraham, who is one of Tony Robbins coaches and also Damon John coach his coach and so because i'm ready to go to the next level i want to hit i want to go from a two million dollar company to 20 million and the reason why is i have goals I've, i have an impact goal i have i know i want to provide nourishment for fifty five thousand children a day and so my next goal is to get to 20 million and that's the only way i can do that i know i want to provide uh, safe drinking water for 365 people a day that would like end the deaths of almost three countries like that's what's so exciting for me it's like I don't have a money goal like I don't need to make a certain amount of money I need to change the world and that's what I was put on this earth to do and then on top of that I can free two people a day two children a day every day from sex trafficking and guess what if I'm making that kind of money how the millions and millions and millions of dollars that we're going to free up for people every single week on their taxes so that they can be able to have a better life and they can then be able to live more. Right. And then they can then get more. And so it's like this amazing selfish cycle. I feel like it's like, OK, teach more people. That's all we do. That's all. And that's all network marketers do. Teach more people how to have more. Right how to live mm -hmm. more and then we in give turn more. then give more, give more. I, you know, with my accounting practice, I can then nourish more, which feed and provide water and I can free more. 
And it's this amazing world that we can all live in when we truly combine our passion and our profits together. And uh, until you go out and start helping more people have a better life, you have no clue what God has in store for you. <laughs> the blessings and everything else that comes mm. with that is like, stop focusing on you. Stop focusing on you being scared that someone's going to say no to you. It's your job. It's your duty just to share with them the information. And it's their job in order to make their own decisions for what they feel like is best for their family. But at least you've given them that information. And so that's where I think we are today. It's like, you know, and Michelle, I, I love I love your personality. Like I can just tell you are just a light. And, <laughs> you know, and it's so great. Like you just said, going from being a social worker, like you left the kids, but you didn't leave them. I didn't, right. You're you are stopping something that's actually causing those children to be in social, yes. in, in the social world, right? In mm -hmm. um, DSS, because mm -hmm. money causes a lot of, a lot of, there would be no sex trafficking if Come there were, no right? If we didn't have any yeah. money issues, there wasn't, I mean, you know, drugs and alcohol abuse, there wouldn't be a lot of that if there were no money issues, right? You're right. So you're helping fix that problem now, but you're just at a much greater level. So, mm -hmm. I appreciate all you're doing. Um, any last words that you would like to share? Well, I mean, definitely. Thank you. This has been an incredible moment. Um, just being able to share this time with you. And I, I, you know, as you were speaking, I was reminded of something. Paula White always talks about money has to have mission. You yes. know, we can go out and chase money. Um, but if you don't have a purpose for it, I mean, what's what's the use? And I think that, you know, yeah, network marketing, you can make a lot of money like this industry combined makes more money than the NFL, NBA and all of that combined. But, you know, at the end of the day, why are you doing it? And I love like in my company, we have a very strong emphasis on financial literacy for kids. Yeah. So it's right at home with, you know, the heartbeat of who I am. And so um, I don't have anything further. I know we're, you know, the time is far spent, Courtney, but it has absolutely been a pleasure to share with you today. Um, thank you for rescheduling, you know, just continue to pray for my mom. Um, but, you know, the freedom that I found here has allowed me to be able to be at every single doctor's appointment without fail. Um, so I'm just absolutely grateful for um, for this opportunity and grateful for, uh, you know, being able to share with you today. I appreciate it so much. Well, I thank you and everything that you're doing in the network marketing space, because if it wasn't for people like you going out and being leaders and growing and helping other people, I don't know where this world would be today. So I appreciate you and all you're doing. And, uh, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. All right. Take care. Bye guys. Bye-bye.